studio update. Haven't made one for a while, but I have been painting. And I had a kind of a breakthrough with a way of putting the paint on. I've been pouring the encaustic, letting it determine its own path, and then burning it in like that. Now these are some that I worked on last week. I've got some that I just did. I've been priming the boards with the acrylic, um, I'm sorry, encaustic gesso that I got from r &F. It's pretty good if you want to have that white surface. Um, I just did these, not five minutes ago. Um, I started off with, these are all 10 by 10 boards, birch boards, that I primed with the acrylic, with huh, encaustic gesso. And then I just started, uh, I put a ground of um, pretty transparent colors in the spectrum. So uh, red, there's violet, they're not in order. Blue, orange, green, did two yellows. Um, and then what I did, I started, and I made you know, buckets of the glazed kinds of colors. Then I started pouring the paint on from all of these buckets and these aluminum foil containers. I had to make some more medium. I ran out. But it was Im impossible for me to make the video and do it at the same time. I needed both my hands and my very helpful assistant was not here. So I started pouring like that white blob, the green blob, the red blob. I poured them on full force in one area. I'm still warm. And then I let it drip across all the rest of them. And then I would start with another one with this green blob and then I would let it drip across all of these. And so on and so forth. Because I wanted to have this be a unified series, they're all going to be more large scale um, images. And so I'm kind of looking at this as being like the definition of the form. Here's one petal, here's another petal. Of course, these aren't any flowers that exist in nature. These are pieces that I invented, which I don't think the great one will mind. Um, but I, I like the idea. Only problem I have is that when I burn them in, uh, I have to be very careful so that I don't lose the delicate lines or any of these uh, dots. So you have to put the heat gun on and bring it back. Let it liquefy and take it off before it has a chance to spread. Here's some bigger ones that I was doing the other day. Uh, that one's got my dad in it. So I just wanted to show you these in process. And maybe in the next few days as I work on some more, I'll have my assistant here and she can hold the camera while I do the, the actual pouring. Oh, I'm paying homage to my old buddy. Jackson Pollock. He wouldn't mind either. Bye-bye.